Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about something very interesting, and it's about dental disease and periodontal disease and the association with increases in heart disease. Is it real? Is it something which we've just been making up? Or is it something that really, really uh, has some degree of causality or mechanistic basis to? So welcome back to the channel. Let's talk about that. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Nene, a US trained cardiac, thoracic, and vascular surgeon and a general surgeon. As a healthcare innovator and a health tech innovator, I wanna empower you to your best health ever. On this channel, we will share evidence-based medicine from all of us to you through our experiences and training about health and healthcare. The goal is to help you make informed decisions about your own health as well as that of your loved ones. We're here for you, so don't hesitate to reach out. Mama always used to tell you, when you were growing up, to brush and floss. Dental disease is something which is often overlooked and is often a discretionary spin. So a lot of folks basically neglect it until it becomes an issue and you have a toothache or a cavity or something like that. But even as far back as 1993 and now more importantly in two studies in 2018 and 2021 where they reviewed two landmark observational long-term uh, studies in London, in, in Britain, as well as in the US, what they were able to show is that there is an observational risk between periodontal disease, losing teeth, and poor dentition, and heart disease. Now the question is, what's the mechanism of that? What causes that? Is it a function of bad teeth being associated with bacteria and inflammation leading to heart disease and other things, or is it a function of something altogether different? And the truth is, we may not know with these observational studies, but these were very large studies which looked at almost eight to 10,000 people over 10 to 20 years. And what they ended up showing was pretty conclusively that there is a 25% risk of someone with bad uh, oral dentition having a history of heart disease. Now, the, the real question is when you look at the confounding factors, meaning those same people who are having bad dentition often have the worst diets, meaning high, high in sugar, high in carbohydrates, poor in protein, and then secondarily having poor hygiene habits um, like brushing and flossing, going to the doctor and doing that. So the difficult part of trying to figure that out is trying to determine whether it's related to the actual poor dentition and the teeth being bad and the heart. And based, what we do know from these studies though, is that there's a very clear observational uh, concurrence or concordance between people with bad dentition, uh, even to the point of losing teeth. And as you lost more teeth, um, these people tended to have more heart disease. This was even more true in younger men. Now it's interesting, right? So throughout animal and human history, when you lose your teeth, you lose your life. That's all changed with dental science. But the truth is this, the same habits which give you poor dentition also give you heart disease and other things, like having lots of sugar on board, having poor exercise and hygiene habits, like smoking tobacco or eating tobacco, like uh, not taking care of yourself. So the idea is very simple. If you have good teeth, there's a good chance that you won't, will avoid heart disease. And it is not mechanistic, it isn't one is to one. But the point is that remember, when you lose your teeth, you may lose your life. And you take that home. If you protect your teeth, you probably protect your health and you protect your heart. And so the, the real question is this, that what do you have to do? But the secondary part of this is, you might actually save your own life by cutting back on some of the things which would also cause heart disease, like eating poorly, not brushing, um, using too much sugar, fats, and other things. And so I think the two run hand in hand. Here's my conclusion that I drew from all of these, that I think there is an observation between poor dentition and heart disease and strokes and other type of cardiovascular problems. But I think that the risk is confounded by the fact that 
many of the same factors which go into causing heart disease, like poor diets and poor hygiene and poor uh, workout routines and, and other things, are also found in people with poor dentition. Secondarily, a lot of the people who smoke or use tobacco often have poor dentition, and that too can cause heart disease. So I don't think the mechanistic or causal details are as clear as they are, but what is clear is if you take care of your teeth, that generally the people with the best teeth are often the people who do not concurrently have as much of a risk for heart disease, owing to the fact that all of their habits are clear. Anyway, I hope this helped. I want you to kind of start a dialogue from this with me and tell me what your thoughts are on this and what your experience has been with poor dentition and your medical history. But I think what's clear is it really pays to take care of your teeth. And certainly from the standpoint of history, meaning that people die when they don't have teeth. These days you can get dentures, but in animals it's very clear when they lose their teeth, they don't survive. But even in humans, there are better ways to do it with simplistic means and throughout all of us. So let me know what you think with the comments in below. And as always, if you liked what we say, hit the like button, hit the subscribe if you uh, want to see new videos in this. Always leave comments for me so I know what you want to hear about. And finally, share this with everyone so that it can help them. Thanks very much, and it's great seeing you guys again. Take care.